Here's three things you may not know about the metaverse. One, Mark Zuckerberg didn't create it. Two, you can't get there by Google. And three, there are claims that there aren't many people hanging out there. Now, Mark Zuckerberg likes to talk about the metaverse a lot. We're going to talk about the metaverse. Metaverse is metaverse and metaverse. But the metaverse is more of a concept than an actual place. One that was predicted back in a sci-fi novel in 1992. It wasn't until 2010 that an 18-year-old Palmer Lucky created a prototype for a headset combining gaming and VR that would become the Oculus Rift. That's where Mr Zuckerberg comes in. He bought Oculus VR in 2014 and now he wants everyone to put on their headsets. That cost over a grand, by the way. And that's because it's the only way to really experience the metaverse. Once you back on your headset, connect to a console or computer, you're in and you can play house and kit out your own avatar. There's about 160 companies with their own spaces where you can visit. You can shop for some kicks at Nike, watch a virtual concert, or even go out with your mates. It's basically like a game of Sims where you're the main character. But will you have much company? It's reported that there are 470 million active users in the whole metaverse monthly. But some recent reports claim that some main spaces like the Central Land only have about 38 active users. The people behind that project dispute that. Zuckerberg's own space Horizon Worlds, where you can create your own world and invite your mates, claims to have about 300,000 users. That might sound like a lot, but compared to almost 3 billion Facebook users, it seems like it's a pretty small world still. Will it ultimately become the place to be, or is it just an expensive club that most people don't want to get into?